Hello and welcome to the new episode of Bahraini Dishes Cooking Show. I am Chef Ali Youssef and I'll be taking you to a delicious journey in which we will explore and cook many traditional dishes. In today's episode, I will be preparing Haris as a main dish. And Haris, let me tell you, Haris is a very famous dish in the Bahraini cuisine. It is, a com uh, it is a combination of meat and wheat. It is a complete wholesome meal with all the carbs and proteins that you need after a long fast. To cook that, what we need? Two, three things maybe, that's it. Water, salt, meat, and wheat. Harris uh, seeds. Meat, uh, I, I, pref I prefer personally um, beef. Some people prefer uh, mutton. I've already pre-boiled uh, water, make life easier. I'm gonna place the beef. Got it chunked and cut really nicely so it will get easier for me later when it comes to mashing. Um, I choose boneless beef because um, I don't want to have a hard time later taking the bones off. It's easy when it's very tender, but still a lot of work to do. <laughs> right, we'll keep it there until it boiled, and then slowly, slowly we can remove the foam that I kind of come out, uh, which is um, they call the dirt and fat out of the meat. And then afterwards we can add the uh, hairy seeds in there, which is we call wheat. We'll let it boil for now, um, and then we'll get back to you shortly. Welcome back, and we have uh, boiled it for almost 35 minutes, and now we're going to add the seeds. Um, the wheat is going to be added. Uh, let me give you a tip, actually. The traditional food of Bahrain shares numbers of celebrities with the, the, the country, the, the neighboring countries. I'm going to add uh, this. Usually, actually, we use, uh, there's a special pot for, for Haris. Um, as you see it, uh, we use it, and as you see it, it's like triangle shape. Um, and the reason it's tri a triangle shape, actually, just to make it easier to mash it afterwards when it's ready, and to take it out of the uh, pot. And back in the days, uh, they used to have this spot, and which is makes life more easier. And actually, it's more fun. Actually, when when you hold the pot and then start beating it with wooden um, pad, it's like a, it looks like a paddle, pot paddle, but wooden one. And then you start beating it until you completely mash the, uh, combine the wheat and the meat all together and it will become all smooth. I'm going to add a little bit more. And uh, let me tell you, this seed's been soaked in the water for uh, overnight actually. Um, usually put it there for at least minimum of one hour. Right. And I'm not putting the salt right now, because uh, to get the meat more tender and in faster way, we will add the salt later when it's ready. Okay, now we will keep it in a very low heat uh, for at least six hours, and then, yes, six hours, and then we'll get back to you.
Welcome back, and uh, now we're going to do side dish while waiting for Haris to be ready, which, as I said earlier, it needs at least six hours where we're doing the side dish. It's going to take one hour, including the dough uh, proofing. To, need to, to make this dish, we need water, tomatoes, garlic leaves. Uh, we call it bagel, actually, but in English, actually, as uh, garlic leaves, salt, garlic and chickpeas powder and chilies. Chilies is just an optional. As I said, uh, maybe you like it as a lucky strike in every one. So you have no idea in which one is gonna be spicy. Let's start making the dough, which you need at least 30 minutes to proof it. Oh, I still have time. That won't be ready by then, uh, Haris. Um, this is, we call it kebab, actually. We're going to add first, actually, the tomatoes. Okay, and we're adding the garlic leaves. It's also going to add lots of it. And salt okay and the garlic has to be mashed not chopped just mashed actually remember back in the old days uh, they have um, actually a metal muddler um, a masher to uh, take a lot of different of spices or some vegetables, it has better taste by muddling it. Um, and this, this kebab actually, it's serving time for it. It's uh, during the breakfast actually, uh, as you see it looks, it's mashed very really nice, it gives you flavor. And I'm going to add also a turmeric powder where give it more taste and color. Uh, just maybe we can put just one uh, tablespoon and then give it better flavor. You can add red chili powder, a half tablespoon, anywhere, okay. Uh, but I'm going to add a few chilies. Uh, rose water, actually. I didn't mention it because it's super optional. It's not in the recipe. I personally use it. I'm going to add the water. Try not to add water. Now you mix it. Prefer preferably with hand, actually. And you need to stop on adding water until you really need it because you don't want to ruin your dough by then. And the dough don't has to be so watery. In every uh, food we do in Bahrain, it has the same taste, different recipes from different families. So it depends on how active and uh, how lazy. <laughs> right, um, and this kebab is the most, more, the most stolen um, food ever in Ramadan, because when the mother st start frying it, uh, what we do, we sneak from behind her and steal one. One by one, one by one, so she keep just frying and it's keep finishing. <laughs> Up to here, we're almost done with it. Uh, we'll leave it for 30 minutes, could be, and of course, we'll get back to you to fry it. And uh, hopefully, the Harry Harris is ready by then. All right, we'll take a short break and get back to you.
Well, welcome back, and here we are. It's been 30 minutes, pleasure of uh, waiting for this uh, dough, and it's ready to fry it, deep fry it. And this is very easy and nice. And as I said, I love to steal this when I was young. I just steal it from my mother. She's frying it and then I do it and I run away. I keep doing it. I might do this here. <laughs> and it's very traditional in everybody's house. Um, it's, it's not nice at all to keep it overnight or or more than one hour after frying it. Why? Because uh, because uh, if you leave it, it get cold and then it will be the same taste, but not the same feeling when you crunch it and eat it. And some of people they use it to mix it with uh, uh, tamarind sauce uh, with some herbs and spices. So you give it very nice taste. And yet, the Harris is not ready yet. Once we do this and go back to the Harris, and I'm gonna eat alone. And for your information, uh, some tips just not to put the heat too high. Why? Because you might burn it from outside, not cooked from the inside, which is not gonna give you the good taste of it. Just make it good heat so you can cook it outside and inside. And you always keep flipping it so it won't get burned in one side. In some places I have, I mean houses and families, uh, they have different recipes than mine and somebody else's eat too. Um, some people they ha they'll have it a bit darker and green from the inside, some people have it yellow and from the outside some people have it golden, or some people have it uh, dark brown and some people will have it um, similar to black actually. I'm not sure if it was burned or not, but it doesn't taste burned actually, I have tasted it. But it's good actually, I love it. Uh, you can have it with um, uh, with uh, hot sauce and and here. The Alga have made um, date and tamarind sauce uh, that will be dipped with it later. Um, I'll try that when it's ready. Right, time to move it up. Checking on on the Harris, it's almost there. Look at it. Need to smash it and beat out of it. And just let me get this done with this kebab, and then we'll go to the Harris. That's that's one of my favorite parts is beating up the Harris. Uh, we just mashing it. I mean, we mash it, mash it, mash it to make the beef and the wheat seeds and this is almost done um, don't want to burn it and i don't want to eat it raw from the inside the dough is really heavy if you have it uh, not not cooked all right up to here we're done So we got to move it and put it here. Mind you, and here it's with um, term uh, sorry, tamarind sauce and uh, it is mixed actually. Usually Bahrainis they use only, with Bahrainis we use only the tamarind um, sauce. Okay, and here it is. Now we 
Jumping to the Harris, we're back to win. This is, looks amazing, a little bit. And this is how it looks actually. And then the way I said we beat it, we beat it this way. And the life would have been more easier if I have done it in the Harris bot. But I'm gonna use a masher for use of mashed potatoes and mashed vegetables and that. Where here we make life we make life easier. This might take a little bit of time. But yes, we'll get it done. This you need muscle. You need muscle to do this. Because you're gonna mash all the ingredients together. Now I'm going to add the uh, salt in it. Um, four tablespoons. No, it looks too much, but it's not. And now we're finally I'm tired really of uh, mashing it. Uh, it's, it hurt my arm. <laughs> anyway, now we're plating it, it after a very long cook. It's just here to do it from the middle to out. And how? Let me tell you how. Cute um, ghee, put it on the top. Up, right, and then spread it. Right, then you make it a little bit deeper in the middle. So add more ghee. So here we're done. A little bit of cumin powder. Give it more taste. Here is it. With that, we have reached to the end of today's episode. See you next time with another delicious dishes of Bahrain's traditional cuisine. Goodbye.